hexadenary then. So to be able to follow along with this video, you really need to understand how to do two conversions. So if you haven't already, go and watch these videos and make sure you understand them. They're the binary conversion videos, so going from binary to deanery, and the hexadecimal conversions videos, so going from hex to binary. You need to really understand both of them before you can approach this topic. And then just because we're dealing with hexadecimal, I am going to start off as I always do for hexadecimal questions and writing all the numbers that I'm going to use for hexadecimal, so that is 0 to f, and then putting any deanery equivalents under any letters that I need to. So 0 to 9, then a, b, c, d, e, f, and then underneath a to f, I'm going to put the, 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 the values, so 10, 11, 12, so on, so on, all the way up to 15. Let's get straight to the conversions then. I'm going to convert 4a to deanery. The first thing I need to do is convert it into binary. So I'm going to put a line down the middle like we used to, 1, 2, 4, and 8 either side of the line, and then I'm going to convert each side into binary. So to make 4, I need to have 1, 4, and then no 8s, no zero, sorry, no 2s, and no 1s. To make A, which is 10, I need 1, 8, no 4s, 1, 2, and no 1s. So there's my binary conversion done, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now I need to convert this binary number into deanery. So I'm going to put 1, 2, I'm going to keep doubling all the way up to 128. And then anything of a 1 above it, I'm going to add together. So it's 64 plus 8 plus 2. That will equal, well, 74. It's a nice easy one, that one. So that equals 74. So my conversion for 4a into deanery is 74. So hex 4a is 74. Another little trick that you can do if you find it easier is that I know that this is the number of 16s that I've got and these are the number of sort of units I've got or ones I've got. So I've got four 16s, I've got a ones, so I can do 16 times by four. Um, that would equal 64 and then just add 10. You, Whichever method works better for you, you follow that. Um, but there's two different ones that you can choose from. Right, I'm going to go the other way then. I'm going to have a Deanery number, let's start with, I'm going to do, well, let's do 92. Okay, I'm going to go from 92 again all the way into hexadecimal. First thing I need to do then is convert it into binary. So I'm going to start with number one over here, keep doubling all the way up to 128. I'm going to work this through and figure out what the binary is for it. So 92 is not greater than or equal to 128, so zero under that is is greater than 64. So I'm going to do, now I'm going to do 92 minus 64, which is 28. And then I'm going to keep going along and doing that. So not great, 28 is not greater than 32, but it is greater than 16. So 28 minus 16, that equals 12. And I'm going to keep doing that um, until I've got my final number, which is going to be that, isn't it? Because 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, so that's my binary conversion. Now I've got my binary, I need to convert my binary into hex. So I'm going to put a line down the middle, so I'm going to take a nibble here and nibble there, four bits on either side. I'm writing 1, 2, 4 and 8 each side this time, so I'm not going all the way to 128, that's why I've got the line there. And then underneath I'm going to go uh, 4 plus 1, that is going to be the hex for 5. And then on this side, I've got 8 plus 4, so that is 12. So looking up here, that is C, so 5C. So hexadecimal 92 is 5C. There's your conversions. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.